Hi everyone, I am currently in my garden and I feel like an idiot because I know that my neighbours can hear me and probably think I'm mad. But anyway, I'm finally getting around to filming my Q&A. So a lot of you have asked me questions and I'm finally going to answer them because it's been like months and I have not answered them yet. The first question is from Lucy's Pet Care and she asks, do you think you will be making any further improvements to your shed even though it's already lovely? Thank you. And what's your favourite breed of rabbit? Okay, yes, I am going to be making some more improvements to my shed. I'm going to do a shed tour when that's done. But I basically want to add more levels for my rabbits because they really like going up high. They love climbing on everything. So, yeah, my dad's going to build some more levels. But I think they're going to be in their aviary run. And my favourite breed of rabbit. Now, I don't really have a favourite breed. I love all bunnies. They're all cute. I've had a right mix. I've had a lot of Dutch rabbits, though and they just i just think they are beautiful also english spot rabbits i also like them but to be honest i don't have a favorite i just like them all they're all beautiful next question is from cute georgie and she asks where did you get your pets from so my cat domino is from the cats protection rescue and yeah we got him like seven years ago now yeah he's from cat protection rescue uh, my three rabbits are from honey buddies rescue in leicester so i've got three rescue bunnies and my guinea pigs, Petal is from a friend of mine who ended up buying two guinea pigs from a pet shop and both of them ended up being pregnant unexpectedly and uh, yeah, had babies. So Petal was one of those babies. Lily was from Millhaven Guinea Pig Rescue in Keithley. And my other two guinea pigs were from someone that I know that could no longer look after them. <coughs> Problems with filming in the garden. I think Rachel gets the message. Um, so yeah, the other two... <laughs> the other two were from someone who could no longer look after them and I said, well, why not? I'll take them on because I have a six foot hutch and six foot by two foot is fine for four guinea pigs. So yeah, so the majority of them are actually rescue, but I have had animals from other places in the past. Okay. Well, she also asks, are you planning on getting another pet? At the moment, no, I'm not planning on getting any more pets. What made you start YouTube? I'd watched a few other YouTubers' videos on pets, um, and I just thought I can do that too, because I have cute pets, so why not? Who is your favourite YouTuber? I don't really have a favourite YouTuber. I watch lots of people. On my pet channel, I watch a load of people, so I can't even... I don't even want to start naming them, because there's too many. And then I have another channel where I don't really post videos, I just like watch other ones and comment on them and that's like more lifestyle videos. So, do you know like Zoella, Alfie Days, um, I also watch a lot of like vlogging families. Stephanie Henderson asks, if you could have any pet regardless of possibility or price, what would it be? Definitely a dog, I would love a dog. I loved having Homer, our guide dog puppy. And yeah, I would just love one, but we don't have the time for one at the moment. We do walk a lot, but we don't walk every day, so it wouldn't be ideal. Okay, next person is KV Cave Circus. And she says, how many pets have you had in your life? Right, let me remember. I had my cat Daisy, my cat Domino. I've had my bunnies. Tinkerbell and Mischief, Jasper, Blossom, Theo, Hector, Poppy, Primrose, Velvet, Reuben. Gosh, I've had a lot of bunnies. Um, the guinea pigs, Fudge and Rainbow, who sadly passed away. I've got Petal, Lily, Sweet Pea, and Daffodil. And I've also had Pansy. So, yeah, quite a few. I've already lost count. I think it's 10 bunnies. Seven guinea pigs and two cats. What was the first pet you ever had? Well, we had a family pet and she was a cat called Daisy. She was lovely. But my first pet of my own was my guinea pig Fudge. And we got Fudge with Rainbow. And so they both were kind of my guinea pigs. One was meant to be my little brother's, but he didn't bother with her, so she was mine. So Fudge and Rainbow. If you could have any pets in the universe, what would it be? Mythical or real? Like I said, I'd love a dog. So if you could mix three animals together to create one animal, what would the three be? And what would you call the animal and why? That is a good question. I'd never thought of this before. I'll go with a cat, a rabbit, and a dog. Now that would be a weird looking animal. And I don't know why, 
they're just three of my favourite kinds of animals. Cats, because they're really intelligent and they are very independent. Bunnies, because they're so flipping cute. And a dog, just because dogs, I just love dogs. And I don't even know what it would be called. A rabda cat. A rabda cat. Yeah, a rabda cat. Next question is by Anna Rigsby X. And she says, what breed of rabbits do you recommend? I don't really recommend any breed because I think it's it doesn't matter about the breed, it's all down to personality of the individual rabbit. Anyway, so I just recommend going to a rescue and, well, depending on what kind of bunny you want, like what personality type you want, then just state that to a rescue and I'm sure they'll have a bunny they can match up with you. What plants are rabbits allowed to eat? There's a lot of plants that bunnies can eat. So I will list them in the comments below because I don't want to say I'm wrong. The rabbit family, how old were you when you got your first pet? Do you know what? I don't know how old I was. I think when I got my guinea pigs, I was nine. And for my cat, I was quite young. I think I was about three, four or five. No, I don't even think I was five. I think I was about four. So she was like my first family pet and then the guinea pigs were my first one pet. Why do you love rabbits? asks Millie McCabe. I think, sorry, I think that's how you say your name. Because I just think that everybody is different, they've got their own little personalities. They're just so cute and affectionate and lovely. And like, people who don't have them don't really understand, but when you have your own and you spend time with them, they're just so lovely and funny. And I just love them, they're so cute. Binky Bun Bun, favourite colour? Lilac. I really love the colour lilac. Although, to be honest, it's kind of changing. I used I used to like it a lot more than I do now, but I still think it's a pretty colour. I've just been talking to myself and realised the camera wasn't recording. So I'm happy about that. But anyway, the next question was, a pet you'd like in the future? Uh, I've already said I would love a dog. Favourite animal? I don't really have a favourite animal. I love all animals. I'm a bit crazy about everything. The Nibble Shed asks, what are your top 10 favourite rabbit rescues? I don't really have a favourite one because I think they're all really good if they neuter and spay and vaccinate and obviously home check I spot all that do that really but obviously I'm going to give a shout out to the rescue I got my bunnies from which was Honey Bunnies in Leicester they rehome nationally so if you're in the UK anywhere wherever you are they will try and rehome a bunny to you if you are suitable Regina Begum asks what are you currently studying at uni? I'm currently studying psychology with education studies, so it's like two different subjects in one. In first year, I did three modules of psychology and one module of education studies, but I'm going into second year now, so it's probably going to change. And someone's at my door. Sorry about that, someone was at my door. What is your dream job? Now, I don't really have a dream job. I'm quite interested in becoming a educational psychologist, but that's very competitive, so I'll probably won't get there but I should be positive maybe I will Alison Moyes asks have you ever been bitten by a rabbit or guinea pig if so was it bad p.s love you and the pampered pets thank you uh, yes I have been bitten by a rabbit it was my own bunny blossom it was an accident I was being a bit stupid really I didn't really know how to bond properly and I just put my two bunnies Jasper and Blossom in a run together and they started fighting and Blossom tried to lunge at Jasper and I tried to split it up so I stuck my hand in the middle and Blossom latched onto my hand and yeah, it really hurt. I had a big chunk of skin hanging off. She soon realised it was me and let go and I had to go to hospital to get a tetanus injection and yeah, it wasn't very fun. I now have a scar on my hand but at least it reminds me of Blossom and I wasn't angry at her because I know it was an accident. So I'll show you it. You should be able to see it. Right there. In the middle of my hand, there is a scarf. Millie McCabe asks, would you get a dog? Yes, like I said, I would love a dog. So yes, definitely, if I could afford it and had time for one, but at the moment I don't, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Kelly Dodds, what do you want to do with animals when you leave uni? Job-wise, I don't know. I think it would be nice to have a job with animals, but I'm gonna try and follow the psychology path first. And if that fails, then I'll probably try and do something related to animals. But yeah, I don't know, I would still love to have pets and I don't know, maybe volunteer at a rescue or something if I had time. But job wise, I don't know if I will get a job with animals. Animal Addiction asks, what type of rabbits do you have? I have two Rex rabbits, 
and an agouti crossbreed. I don't know what she's crossed with, but I think there was a giant in her somewhere down the line because she's very big. She's a big bunny. She also asks, and I'm probably going to get rabbits. What do you suggest? I suggest going along to a local rescue and finding a bunny that's perfect for you. It's not really the breed that you look for. It's personality, so good luck. Piggies, ponies, puppies and more asks, what is your student uni and what would your dream job be? I've already answered that one. So yes, yeah, psychology with education studies and I'm not sure on a dream job. Who is your favourite animal YouTuber and which YouTubers in general do you like best? I briefly mentioned some YouTubers that I watch and I like. But fave animal YouTuber, I don't really have one. To be honest, all of you that comment on my videos, I do watch yours. So I like you all. I love you all. Oh, she also asks, how is Homer doing? So my guide dog puppy was Homer. We trained him for a year. He's doing really well, thank you. He didn't qualify as a guide dog, but he was passed on two dogs for the disabled and he's paired with a man and he's doing really well and he's really happy. And I've seen him on the Dogs for the Disabled Facebook page a few times. So that's really nice to see. He's just doing so well. How did you start keeping rabbits? My brother's friend had rabbits and they had a accidental litter. And I just got the idea into my head of having a bunny. And we went to look at them and my mum fell in love with them, I fell in love with them. And we ended up taking two home and that was Mischief and Tinkerbell. And at the time I didn't really know a lot about them. But I learned and now I know quite a lot and I'm happy that I did my research after getting them because their hutch wasn't that big. We only had a four foot hutch at the time but I soon learned that that wasn't good enough and I ended up opening that up and giving them the whole shed. So, yeah. And do you have any tips for persuading your parents to let you have a small pet? I guess just show them that you're responsible, do your research. Maybe if you contribute to costs as well, if, if possible, then they're probably more likely to let you get one. Small and Furry asks, what is your opinion on pet shops and the pet trade? Now, I might sound like a hypocrite because I have bought animals in the past from pet shops, but at the time I didn't really know a lot about it. But personally, I am not keen. I don't think I would ever buy a pet from a pet shop again. If it was in danger, then maybe I would, but I personally don't like it because they're just animals being bred and then sold bred and sold and there's no home checks going on nothing you don't know who these animals are being sold to people might not care about them for example my neighbors um you get an animal and you don't look after it and you soon get bored of it whereas rescues make sure that people actually have done the research they have the right housing they will neuter or spay and vaccinate their rabbits and yeah i just i don't like pet shops I'm not against anyone who has bought from a pet shop, that's completely your decision, but personally I don't like them and I won't tell people to go buy from there. I would always recommend Rescue. Thumper Phoebe Bunny asks, would you ever consider making the buns their own Instagram account? I actually saw your question earlier and I thought, yeah I will. So I have gone and made an Instagram account and it's called My Family Pets, same for my YouTube. So if you want to give me a follow you can, I often update it with pictures of my bunnies so, and the guinea pigs and the cat. So they're all my animals are on there. But yeah, thanks for your question. That was a really good idea and I have done it. Jack's Buddy's Piggies from YouTube, but you should all go follow his Instagram because he wanted me to say that name instead, which is Jack and the Pets, asks, why in your opinion is it better to adopt from a rescue? What is your experience of adopting? I think it's better to adopt from a rescue basically because you know what animal you're getting, you know what the personality is like, and those animals are in need of a home. And if you adopt from a rescue, then not only are you helping that rabbit, but you're also helping another one because it means they can then go into the rescue and be saved from an awful situation. Because basically rescues take on the rabbits in quite dangerous situations where they're going to be released or they're going to be abused or neglected or anything like that. So you're helping the bunnies in need, whereas from a pet shop, you're just basically lying in someone's pockets and that's not good. Okay, Chloe's Rabbit Tips asks, what made you start YouTube? Briefly mentioned this earlier, it's basically because I watched other YouTubers and thought they have cute animals and I have cute animals, I could do this too. So I start making videos as well. And I really appreciate how far I've come and how many subscribers I've got. I love you all and I just dropped my questions and I'm going to show you my bunnies now. <laughs> These are my bunnies. Got Ruben. My camera died yesterday and I never got to finish my video properly so I just thought I'd quickly show you the bunnies and end the video here. So we've got Ruben, Primrose, 
and velvet and they're just eating a lot of pellets that are sprinkled all over the room floor. I'm just in the middle of cleaning the guinea pigs out actually. I'll quickly show you them. We've got daffodil, the back of sweet pea, petal and lily. And yeah, I'm just cleaning them out so I'm going to end that here. So thank you for watching and bye.